Hello, welcome to another Enigmas of the Ancient World video. I'm Luke. It's really late getting on a plane tomorrow, so this is one last uh, video to drop on you before I uh, disappear for a month. And uh, this one is a quick return to Abu Jurong. And uh, what we're going to look at today, this is one of my favorite sites in the world, and we found another crazy jeep driver to take us back over there uh, and what we're going to look at today is not the temple and is uh, not the Hakim Bolter bowls in all their glory or even really the type B bowls although we'll take a gander uh, but some other bowls that despite having been here several times before I actually hadn't seen so I'm going to share those with you because I haven't heard anybody else uh, talking about them. And here we are, Abu Jurong. It's an incredibly special site, something about this site. Usually we uh, we come to this site from the east. Uh, this gentleman brought us up from the south, and I I think that's actually what uh, what brought my attention to these bowls. You know, usually you go look at the the Hakim Bolter bowls and the uh, the Hotep and climb the temple and. It's it, it's amazing. It's a great sight, and you're fulfilled. And so this time, coming up from the south, I thought, you know what? I'm going to wander through this little little section I hadn't really paid that much attention to before. And that's uh, when I saw these, which are bowls. The type B bowls in their original position, still attached to the floor. Not clear whether this would have been subfloor or surface level, but there it is. It's a it's a type B bowl. It's still uh, attached. Um, very interesting. That's not a really a wall behind that. That's an L shaped uh, piece. It's been cut in a large L shape, which I found interesting. And I think there was another bowl at the other end of that. Um, I walk down to take a look, uh, and, and everything's kind of destroyed. And I think on the other side of the, the central pathway, there may well have been a, a mirror uh, section uh, the same as this one. That's what it kind of looks like. And so, yeah, there it is, type B bowl. And uh, if you look uh, across the way, there's another one. Uh, also, still set in the floor in its original position. It's in much worse, uh, worse condition, uh, as you can see. So this this was probably a a water feature, whether subfloor or not. This must have been really spectacular. I mean, you see from the limestone coming out underneath, the courses of limestone underneath the casing stones of granite, that this was a much uh, larger and uh, more impressive site. It probably went down a bit further, sort of like the Step Pyramid does. Uh, I really wonder how much excavating they've done around here looking for catacombs and passageways. Some lightning. Now this stone up here on the right, I, I kind of always stop and look at this because uh, it looks like it's been underwater for a really long time. I always say it, it looks like coral and part of the Hotep base looks like this, but nothing else here looks like this. So that's extremely selective wind damage, if that's wind damage. Uh, and I, I came across something called the Tazati effect, which is uh, looks a, an awful lot like that, but it's, uh, it's caused by seawater. Okay, so 
here are the type B balls again as you can see I just wanted to show you again that that is the type of, of bowl that was set in the floor and uh, that one is was in great condition the rest of them are, are pretty beat up but still you know a ton of theories you know did these have the same purpose as the Hakeem Bolter bowls or a different purpose what was the purpose of either or or both and we've heard everything from uh, sacrificial uh, fluids to uh, separating uh, the chaff from the the grain or the wheat um, to washing clothes and uh, one of my subscribers uh, suspiciously named Khufu wrote in said they were for for making beer why not why not why not so uh, a lot of interesting theories a great site if you're interested in in seeing it with Yusuf and myself you can uh, check out our websites or the poster here at the end has some relevant uh, information and you can come and see this site and a bunch of other sites that are usually closed to the public and uh, they're pretty special we had a great time on the last one so we're gonna do one more and uh yeah it's an amazing site you should if you haven't seen the other video uh, i did on this site you should check it out because i was there earlier in the day and climbed uh, the temple and uh, got some good footage of the hotep as well as the bowls And the girls are on the uh, on the hotep with the singing bowl. I'm sure the the lightning and the rain that uh, came about 20 minutes later was completely unrelated. Okay, uh, it's really late. Getting on a plane tomorrow. I'm heading out. Uh, I hope you enjoy the videos that I've uploaded today. I'll be back. Um, in November with uh, another content push before the end of the year. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out the tour information here at the end. And I'll see you next time.